Hey Joe fans, it's Roberto here doing another unboxing and this one, this time it is a G.I. Joe Classified series bat. It's one of the Cobra units, it's the, the what is it, the Battle Android Troopers. Um, it's number 33 in the series for uh, G.I. Joe Classified. On the side here we got a new piece of art, looks like uh, bits of the robots. On the front, you got a, a picture of a new piece of art of the bat. And then the mural that's on pretty much the uh, first couple of waves. Um, but yeah, this is number 33 in the series, which is uh, pretty crazy. They cranked these guys out over the last couple of years. Um, and uh, I'm, a, I'm a bit behind. I've, I've got a lot of them. I don't have all of them, but I got a lot of them. But figured to open up uh, another Joe because I haven't done it in a while. Um, and uh, see what's in here. So, anyways, um, the bats, uh, as as a kid, definitely one of my favorite uh, figures. It's a robot. Um, I didn't have I didn't have many. I didn't have an army of bats when I was a kid. I had one, I think. Um, but I loved it. It had uh, the um, hologram uh, sticker on his chest and. The uh, the different accessories and anytime you could load up uh, accessories in a backpack, I was uh, I was pretty pleased. Different hands, um, which was uh, one of my uh, favorites. Other figures was the Masters of the Universe, um, the Roboto, because um, he had the alternate hands or trap jaw. Same deal. Anyways, uh, then you got the Cobra insignia on the back of the box. So. Let's see how this chunk of plastic robot looks. Well, first is uh, his pistols uh, popping out before I can get anything out of here. And now, out of the out of the package, he's a big old a big old beefy boy. I like I like the robot uh, arms. Very, uh, what do you call it, Terminator-esque. Never really thought about it um, as a kid. Uh, but he probably was, uh, the bats probably were a response to, like, uh, all the robots that were uh, in the media at, at the time, like Terminator, RoboCop, and whatnot. Um, do they predate RoboCop? Mm, I don't know about that, but Terminator was definitely around. Um, regardless, he's got, they got the, uh, very, um, <laughs> very colorful for an all black figure, black and gray, but they got the yellow and, uh, and the green chest plate. It's got the, the classic Cobra Trooper helmet looking deal. And then on the back, you see some, some molded robot parts. Um, looks like it's kind of interesting. Looks kind of like got sort of a bandolier uh, pouch on his uh, his leg. Looks like a sheath for the gun I just pulled. Let's just pop that in there real quick. See how it fits. It does really snug. It's not going anywhere. Um, got double jointed arms. These are really kind of stiff. Kind of, kind of got some ratchet sounds there. Um, but yeah, very cool. Got some grenades on, on his, uh, chest there and it's feeling, let's see, I'm usually not as, uh, scared to do the hard articulation points on, uh, Hasbro figures. I want to say one of the only ones that ever broke on me was like, um, Marvel Legends Wasp and she was had some really really thin points, but usually they're they're pretty solid. Um it's got it's got like a hidden chest crunch is kinda cool. You can see it better from the back. Um it's like that chest plate kinda covers it, so that's interesting. It's pretty neat. I uh kinda kinda like the way they did that. It's got, it's got some some robot shoes on there, some bright yellow. <laughs> I I like I like how they were very bold when they when they chose to design like 
you know, as as a like, I'm sure the toy designers wanted something that would would be uh, would pop for for the kids, you know. So the the yellows and uh, to go with the the black, but like as a tactical war robot, you know, like let's just put some bright yellow uh, hazard colors on on this um, on this death machine and hope it doesn't get shot off the field as it's walking down but regardless um let's see what else he's got in here looks like he's he's got his classic backpack which uh should be able to hold a bunch of accessories looks like it's got a bunch of different uh stuff in there already that's molded in kind of kind of looks like you got nunchucks on the side, but I don't think they are. I think it's actually just some exhaust pipes or something. But let's uh, pop this on his back. Pretty cool. Then, got a lot of stuff, so it's kind of cool uh, for army building. Um, if you are going to do that, he's got a, he's got a busted head. It's where you can see a little bit crushed, so that's pretty cool. Um... He's got the claw. Got to see if this thing actually actually opens. It doesn't look like it does, but very nice. And let's see. He's got the trigger finger in his hand, so let's, let's pop the other one. I'm sure both of them probably pop out if I really wanted. Um, let's see. Well, it went in easy enough. Didn't give me a satisfying popping noise but still um it's got the claw so that's not too bad and then usually yeah he's got the peg point so if i don't have i put my extra hand in his backpack so that's kind of neat then he's got a cover for his chest plate so, if you don't want any of those, uh, any, any of his, any, any of his board just out in the open there, you can give that a cover and it just, it just fell right off, so I'll get that back later. But, I think this is a more interesting one anyway. He's got one that's full of, of like, uh, battle damage, and just pop that in there. Okay, so there was a satisfying snap. And then there is um, a cover. But, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I actually like a cover just because you're covering up uh, a pretty cool looking. Some of the only, uh, looks like real paint on the uh, figures on that chessboard. Um, but whatever. Um, let's see. They could have had like a Cobra decal or something on that, on the chest. Then, it's another good one. He's got flamethrower let's see pop that in here put the uh, the claw on his back and now he's ready to to torch the Joes who are hiding out in, uh, either you know in the in the shadows or in the trenches one or the other it's gonna torch it and it looks like he also has a laser of some sort. Uh, I don't think that's a drill. I think that's supposed to be a laser. And I do love when there's parts or a place for all of your accessories. So that's, uh, that's pretty awesome. Um, let's see. Get the he's got a trigger finger in the other hand so go with the pistol in one hand and flamethrower in the other and that's a, a pretty cool bat um it's got mine is pretty stiff he's he's moving but he's pretty stiff but he does have you know pretty good articulation um just gotta you can heat him up or you can fight with him one or the other but uh this uh this figure is pretty cool um let's see 
Get the battle damage. Head. Is the head going to come off? I don't want to. Really don't want to fight with him. That came off. Yeah, my head's on there pretty snug. Well, whatever. All right. I do like that he's kind of got an exposed uh, robot skull there too. So, but I think I'm gonna go with uh, with the classic for now. Just put on the backpack. Probably swipe out, swap out the flamethrower for the claw. I always like having a melee weapon and uh, and a ranged weapon if I can. But let's see. Feels like he'll stand up fairly. Uh, oh yeah, not too bad. Anyways, uh, I like them. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know if you picked up that. If you army built these guys, if uh, if you've picked up multiple of the different versions, like the uh, what is it, the Python Patrol? I think the uh, are you getting the Crimson uh, bat that's coming out? That I'm on the fence on that one. That I uh, I was never a huge fan of the Crimson Guard, so that one doesn't really appeal to me. Um, just from the aesthetic. I think if I was going to army build it, uh, I'd probably army build this one. And I've, ar I've already got one of the Python patrols, so I'm good there. Um, the Arctic one was pretty cool. Uh, you know what, if I, uh, what I would like them to do is the, um, was the jungle bat that was, uh, that one was awesome from, um, was it like the, the early 2000s? With, it was like the, the 25th anniversary line, or, or the one before that. But anyway, um, had a Gatling gun. That, that one was awesome. So I hope they redo that one. I definitely would grab one of those. But anyways, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, see you next time. Bye.